27 years ago, I was um, approached by John Stojinski to ask if I was interested in writing a mass for Cardinal Basil Hume's 75th birthday. And he heard of me, I think, through Polish and through Catholic circles. And I was so excited to get this commission. that it, it was just everything that I really wanted to do at that particular moment of time. It was very exciting working with Westminster Cathedral Choir. And it was my first experience, really, of working with choristers of young boys aged between 9 and 13, who basically responded to musical instruction or to my ideas or anything I said to them in a completely grown-up professional manner. So um, I was so impressed. I was incredibly nervous at the premiere of Westminster Mass when it was about to start and um, I think my tummy was being very noisy, but it was hugely exciting and the reception afterwards was so joyous. This commission was a complete breakthrough for me in my career. Um, I think the combination of the high profile performance and the musicians taking part, um, the orchestra of the City of London Symphonia, and they were the first sort of big professional orchestra that I'd done a new piece for. Um, but also there was the most fantastic PR and marketing and I got enormous exposure in all the broadsheets um, and the same when the recording came out. So it really put me on the musical map and was a fantastic opportunity. I am really interested to know how it's going to feel hearing it at Cardinal Basil Hume's Centenary Mass 25 years after the premiere. I wonder if I'll have flashbacks uh, of the day itself and suddenly you remember things that I've forgotten. But it's going to be strange but in a very lovely way. I'm really looking forward to it and I'm thrilled they're doing it then. John Stojinski and the Genesis Foundation completely transformed my career and I will be eternally grateful. I, I don't think I would have got where I've got today without Westminster Mass and without their support through the process and I'm very proud that it was actually Genesis's first project and I always go around telling people that Westminster Mass was the genesis of Genesis. Mm -hmm.